Hi there, it's Jennifer, and I'm here today for week 13 of a 14-week organizational challenge that was put out by a blog called A Bowl Full of Lemons. So we are almost to the end. Um, in today's video, I'm going to show you the results of organizing my master bedroom closet, and then also talk about the new challenge for the coming week, which is organizing the launch pad. We'll talk about what that is in just a second. So last week when I was looking at my master bedroom closet, I had I have issues because it's a smaller closet than what I have used in the past. And so it, it just, I had too much stuff in there, like a laundry basket that was taking up space and keeping things from being able to, to be hung, like long things, dresses and stuff like that. And then there were just some areas that needed some sprucing up and refolding and all of that kind of stuff. So anyway, all of that to say that I'm super excited about the, how the master bedroom closet looks. And so I'm gonna take you up there right now to take a look. Well, the first thing I realized when I got into this closet was that all of my hangers were really dusty and they're dark brown, so it shows up a lot. So I went in and I dusted all of the hangers. This is my husband's side of the closet, as you remember from last week, the stuff that um, he had on the floor to go to Goodwill is out of here. And I had some stuff in that cubby right there that needed to go to Goodwill. So I, I got all that out of there and it made rooms for some more of my husband's stuff. Then my shirt's here, pretty much the same. I moved some of my uh, dressier pants down here, the things that go with the jackets that are on this lower shelf, so I moved those there. Look at the floor. It does not have, sh well, my husband has a like pair of slippers over there, but it doesn't have my shoes all over the place. And I'll show you in a minute why. I love, I think that's my favorite thing about this closet now, is that I don't have shoes everywhere. So let's um, come behind the door here. I moved that laundry basket that was there, I moved that into the bathroom and I'm actually gonna get another one. I, I just ordered one that looks more like a piece of furniture instead of just a canvas bag in there, but it freed up space to spread out my dresses so that they can actually hang here. I have a few pairs of pants hanging so, here. And then I um, this I got this shoe organizer thing. I'll tell you more about that and the deal I got on that. So I was able to take all my shoes off the floor, except for I kept my tennies down there and everything else, flip-flops and everything, fit in here. And then over, well, th that's the same, except for I got rid of those shoes that I don't wear anymore. And I was able to put another pair of kind of hiking shoes up on that shelf. Over here, I took all of those journals that I had that were piled up on top of each other and just pushed them to the back. And then I have a couple of hats that I just put in front of that. This was this sweatshirt cabinet. And then here, those were all of those race t-shirts that were just kind of in a messy pile. I pulled them all out. I folded them. I don't wear those shirts, but because they're cotton or the neck is too high and so I, I don't I don't like stuff that comes right up around my neck but I I'm saving those because I think someday I might like to make a quilt with just the the logo part for each each race on there I don't know if I don't do that I just need to get rid of those put some uh, jeans there some more things and there's um, yeah just some other pairs of pants and then this laundry basket is not used for laundry I usually use it to store away things so what I'm going to do this summer is take down a lot of the things that I wear for work during the year and put those there so that will make room for my summer t-shirts to hang because I like to hang those. So there it is. I wish I could back up. Well, let's see if I could back up more. Um, there it is. It's so much nicer. The floor's cleaned up and everything looks really great in here. All right, now that may not be a terribly exciting thing for you, but I'm really happy about it. And I'm really excited about how I got all the shoes off the floor and put them in that shoe organizer. I want to tell you about this. I first went over to Target looking for a hanging shoe organizer. I found one that had 10 compartments, single. Um, they were square opening compartments and 
Well, they had one that was cheaper, like it noticeably looked noticeably cheaper. And I didn't want to get something that was going to rip apart. So the one that looked like it was pretty sturdy, high quality was $18.99 just for the one side compartment of uh, a one side thing with um, 10 compartments for shoes. So I thought, well, you know, I, I, I need to get this so I can organize my closet. So I actually bought two of them. So I'd have 20 spaces. And so, you know, 38 bucks right there. But I thought, well, this is good. It's still good. It's going to be a good use of the money because it will keep the space organized and straightened up and everything. So then I headed over after that to Bed Bath & Beyond to look for a laundry basket for the bathroom area, which I was not able to find there. I ended up placing an order for it. But I did walk past some shoe organizers by Real Simple that they had at Bed Bath & Beyond. These were um, twice as big. So they had 20 compartments. On average, they were $24.99 for these things that had just as many uh, spaces as the, you know, as the two that I bought over at Target for $38. So $24.99, I thought, hey, that's really cool. And then notice that one kind they had, which is the kind I got that has the diamond shape openings instead of the square openings, were on clearance for $9.99. $9.99. So that's what I bought. I, I took back the other two to Target and bought that one for $9.99. So that is by Real Simple. I will link it um, over to, I'm going to look for where this particular one might be sold online and I'm going to link it over on, on my blog at busybeinggen.com so you can take a look at that if you're interested or run over to a Bed Bath & Beyond near you and see if they still have those on clearance. So the one in my area did. So all that to say, uh, it probably doesn't hurt to shop around to get some things for organizing that might be just a little bit less expensive. So that was um, just a, that was a really good purchase for something that, um, well, I had to move my laundry basket out first, but really got everything up off the floor and I still have room to hang dresses and everything. So the whole closet thing, every time I walk in there, I did, and I don't, I guess I didn't realize how often I walk into that closet. Clearly, I use it every day, but several times a day, I just go, oh, oh, I'm so excited about this. I'm so excited, this is organized, and my husband feels the same way, not to see my shoes everywhere. All right, so the next uh, organizational project for week 13 is the launch pad. Now, when I first saw this challenge from the beginning, I had no idea what a launch pad was, and so I actually even had to go on their site and do a search for a launch pad to see what, they, what the heck they were talking about. The launch pad is the area of your home where you kind of like grab the last few things before you head out the door. It is also the place when you come in where you tend to dump things. And so this could be for you like a mud room, could be your launch pad area. It could be that when you open your front door, there's this little entry hallway where maybe stuff is kept. For us, it is an, a little nook off of the garage. We come in the garage door, there's like this micro-sized hallway. There's a coat closet here, there's a guest bathroom here, and then you open up into the kitchen. But that small little space is our launch pad. And it includes a closet. So that's helpful for us because it's not like we have to um, hang, have stuff on hooks that look, you know, coats hung neatly or anything like that. We have a closet that sort of closes some of that stuff off. Uh, without going on, let me go ahead and show you what our launch pad area looks like. Area. Um, this is a little hallway that comes off of my kitchen. On the left is the guest bathroom. On the right is the coat closet. And straight ahead is the door that goes into the garage. So if we come over here, we have this coat closet here and you might, might remember from a previous video where I organized my gloves, scarves, hats, mittens, all of that stuff. That's been a really terrific um, project. It has worked really well. Then we have coats and I have some purses over there. Probably need to think about moving those purses but only if there's a really good spot. Um, and then the biggest mess in here is just at the at the bottom here. I just have some stuff down there that I need to either organize or go through or get rid of or whatever. So, um, 
but other than that, this closet is um, not too big, not too big of a project to work on. Then we have this little shelving unit here. I had showed you this before when I was organizing cookbooks in one of the projects. So I put my cookbooks in the bottom section. It works really well because it's right here next to the kitchen. And then there are two other baskets there that need to be cleared out, thrown away, put where they sh in another place where they should go. I keep my purse right here and there's some magazines and books underneath it that I need to put away. But I keep my purse there and my husband takes a backpack to work and he puts his backpack in that basket beside my purse. Um, and then above this, a little um, shelf kind of thing that you know could be used for holding mail and stuff like that. I don't I put my mail in another place. But there's also a place to hold keys. There's a key ring on there right now and uh, my husband hangs his keys there and then there's I just need to go through what's in the top of that stuff and th throw stuff out. So essentially that is our launch pad and that's what I'm going to be working on in the coming. All right. Week. So that is our is our launch pad area and what I'm going to be working on. It'll be nice to have that area of the house which is pretty noticeable from the kitchen completely straightened up. So if we look over on the Bowlful of Lemons website, remember that you can they give you a printable every week with details um, of the process of cleaning up each area. If you go over to my blog, busybeinggen.com, I will have a link that goes straight to this particular organizational week. And then in that area, um, there's also a link that you can click to see the printable. Um, so so it, they, it's a lot the same as other weeks, and I'm looking at my computer right now. Um, it has the whole thing of looking for things that you need to keep, donate or sell, trash or recycle, um, something that belongs in another room. Shoes would be something that get left in um, certain people's launch pads, especially if it's a mud room or something like that, kicking off your shoes. Or if you don't wear shoes in your home, everybody kicks their shoes off there. And then accessories. Before I forget to, to mention this, there are some cute pictures over on a bowl full of lemons to take a look at. If you're sort of wanting ideas for how to organize that space, they have cute little benches with wicker drawers in them where each person can have a drawer to keep their shoes or whatever. And I mean, really good ideas. They have, they have a few different links. So if you have a problem area like that and you want to be inspired, then when you go over to my blog and click to go to that post, it will show you all that and there are even more links within that post. So I want you to, um, to check that out, out if you need some inspiration. So it talks about sorting everything in the space and dividing it up among your bins, cleaning, um, washing any rugs that you have, especially this time of year now that the weather seems to be getting nicer in a lot of places. There may be rugs that you have that you've kind of been tracking in on all winter and they just need to be washed up. In fact, we, we keep a rug outside in the garage. So there's a like a little mat rug kind of thing. And then we step up into the house and there is not a rug when we first walk in the door because we have the other one. But that one's dirty now, you know, it needs to be clean. It's been, I don't think I've washed it since the end of the summer. And so we need to, we need to do that. So, so take care of those kind of things wiping down your baseboards and switch plates and doorknobs and all that kind of stuff, dusting the lights. So the same kind of thing as previous weeks. And then it talks about, um, it says it's time to go through everything in the bins, put the other room items where they belong, toss, toss the trash outside, place donations in your car and to sell items in your garage. And then when organizing things in bins, remove one item at a time, categorize as you go, and it gives you some different categories um, for how to stop, store things in your launch pad area. Shoes, back, backpacks and purses, keys, reusable grocery bags, umbrellas, calendars, jackets and coats, cold weather accessories. Um, place for storing mail, chore charts, um, electronic charging cords, whatever. Whatever is the kind of thing that you keep in that area then you can organize according to that. So that is really, um, that's it. Let me, I don't know if I can even show you, if I can show you this, but look at this picture here. You see, can you see that? That is just su such a cute way of like setting up a little piece of furniture that um, 
is a great way to organize things in that area. I'm gonna be working on it. It's not gonna to take uh, too terribly much time because there are only two of us who live in this house and so we don't mostly stuff that's just sort of collected in those areas. But Even though this is the second to the last, if you're just tuning in for this, you can always go back to week one and kind of go from there and start for the next 14 weeks on your own or you don't even have to go once every week because some of the areas of the house are pretty overwhelming and so you might need a little bit more time than that. And that is my, you just saw a little red dog. We normally just see black and white dogs going up the stairs. That is um, my mom and dad's little poodle who we are babysitting for the next few days. Her name is Anna. So, okay, so all of this to say, it's not too late to get going on this. I can't even tell you how great I feel having had all of these areas cleaned up. And I have even identified a few more areas so that once we get to the end of this challenge, I'm going to continue to put up organizational projects for you on this channel to show you how to organize some other things. I have a bookcase in one area that I really wanna get organized after I'm finished with this challenge. I also have a craft desk and craft room area and I need to do something with that. And so I've just got a few other areas like that that this whole thing has inspired me to take a look at. And then I've got to go back to those projects that I said I was going to decorate, that laundry room thing and also the living room thing. So, so this isn't going to be the end of it for me when we hit 14 weeks. But I sure appreciate you guys coming along over the past few weeks and watching how this thing is going. And I hope you'll come back again next week to see the results of my launch pad. And then we're looking into cleaning the cars after that. So I hope you guys are doing well. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I would so love it if you would just hit that little subscribe button. YouTube will let you know when I upload new things to this channel, which is two or three times a week. And I hope I will see you again on Busy Being Jen. Bye-bye.